102.7 KISS FM. It is Seacrest with you in the morning. Ellen K. thanks for being on. We appreciate you flipping it on KISS. Closer and closer to a long weekend. And we sit now with a man who is still smiling. And I think his hair is still <laughs> equally as sprayed and flat ironed as it was last night. David Archuleta, it's good to see you. Yay. Oh, good to see you, too. We've seen you for the last 100 weeks. And yet what? again. 100 weeks we've been seeing you. And you still, really? Yeah, you look like you've slept each and every night. Oh, that's good. I'm glad I... Here, put those headphones on. Okay. And, and Alrighty. I just, I mean, this is the first time a lot of people are having a chance to, to hear from you about the last few months and about last night, about, I mean, the incredible journey you've been on, what you've achieved at such a young age. Just tell us how you felt going into the finale and then at that last moment before the announcement. Uh, Well, I couldn't have felt any better really about it just because, you know, I, my goal wasn't to try to prove that I was better than Cook or anything because he's just so awesome. I just wanted to show that I was here, wanted to do my best and wanted to show what I loved mm -hmm. about music. And I think I was able to do that. And I'm just glad I was able to. <laughs> and and the, the two of you, you know, we've had some contestants in seasons past that weren't the best of friends, but it seemed like you guys were very, very close. Oh, uh, yeah. Cook, he's like my big brother. He's just always been looking out for me and... <laughs> Uh, you know, he's just, he's such a great guy. Did you prepare yourself to win and to be runner up? Uh, yeah, you have to prepare yourself for both things just because, you know, you never know what will happen. I was, I was pretty confident in Cook winning just because I, you know, I just, how could he not deserve it any more than he already does? <laughs> so, oh, you know, we had Deborah Bird on the show and she's a vocal coach on Idol and she was talking about your vocal cords and, and she said that there's one that. It just doesn't work. Explain to people I mean, what, oh. what is it. That, you know, what, what's going on with the vocal cords? Um, well, we've been meeting with the near nose throat doctor here, yeah. and I guess my <laughs> there's one side that still doesn't really move, but I think that's part of the. I wouldn't sound the way I do now if it weren't for that. And, you know, and, I'm and does for that it. make it more difficult for you to speak, to sing, to breathe? Um, <laughs> maybe to breathe. I have pretty wheezy bre breathing problems, but other than that, I think it's fine. You know, I'm, I think I'm singing fine and I love it. You're, you're singing great. Does it make oh, you thanks. nervous though? Are you afraid to push too hard when you're singing? Um, uh, not more than anyone else normally would. Just gotten used to it, I guess. I didn't even realize it until I met with the doctor. Were you amazed by the impact the program had uh, when you when you get out and you see people around the country reacting to David Archuleta, this guy <laughs> that they don't even know? Uh, yeah, it's it's really crazy because it's like you've just been working and you know you go out on stage every week and then come back and rehearse and rehearse and rehearse and then just all these people out of nowhere are like David and stuff <laughs> and it's like what? Well, how do you know who I am? And it's just bizarre because you know it's. It doesn't seem real that people would that many people would freak out. Who gave you the most advice, and and who was your your confidant throughout all of this? Um, hmm. I I guess my family. You know, I've always they're always there to support me, and even if I was having a rough time, they're just like you know, just remember what you're here for, and that just keep doing what you love to do, and always remember that what you loved about this in the beginning, and I just always remember that, and it. It helped me, you know, I just always, just you really appreciate being up there on that stage and getting any opportunity you have. Was there ever any issue created between you and your father via some of this press that you had to deal with? Um, the the press? There was, you know, there was the press had said that, that your dad may have pushed you too hard or too far. Oh, I, I have no idea what's been going on with that, really. It's all kind of bizarre. Like, I heard it from friends mm. telling me, it's like... What? What's this? You know, but my dad's been great. You know, he's just, he's always been looking out for me, just trying to see what's best for me. And he's, just, uh, he's been a great guy. He's under, he's the one who understands why I'm here more than anyone else. Right. And he's not like, oh, you need to win. You need to win. It's just like, just go out there and have fun. And, you know, he just says, like the other day, he just said, I'm so proud of you. And it's not about winning. You already won. So it's, you know, it's been, it's been cool to have him here. David, I was always impressed with the the confidence and the poise um, that that you would you would have and carry in front of so many people at such a young age, week after week on live television. I mean, it's you're either born with it or you're not, and you've got it, and you've got a great future ahead of you. I'm real proud of you, oh, man. You're just a you. terrific man. 
And um, I wish you the best of luck. You got a lot of work to do. Oh, oh yeah. Well, I'm, I'm excited for that. <laughs> You're going to be a big star. Also, I want to get your dad a new hat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that, actually. <laughs> Ellen, what's coming up in this sleeves, darling? 